Welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day for us. I'm actually 23 weeks today. So we have a like two hour long appointment with the new maternity care center that we're using because I was using like a normal OB at my normal doctor. So I decided to switch out of that practice and go to a more natural method. So we are using a midwife at a maternity care center. So we have a big appointment there today. It's our first appointment. We've already like went and toured the facility, did a consult, but today's our first appointment. It's two hours, but let's first do a bump date of what I'm looking like. Yes, I said bump date. So let's get right into that. And then I need to jump in the car because I'm kind of running late. So I am 23 weeks today. So this is what I look like. Here's my bump. Very exciting. It's time to go though. Today I am 24 weeks officially and wearing a dress that makes me look like very pregnant. So here it is. This is what my bump is looking like at 24 weeks. So we are going to a pretty exciting, well, like the most exciting ultrasound, obviously the longer that you get into the pregnancy, they get more exciting. Cause like the baby starts to look more like what it's gonna look like when it comes out. So I'm like 25 weeks now and we are going to like, it's an elective ultrasound. So we get to see like the baby in 4D. So it'll be super cool. My mom and Mike's mom are going so that'll be exciting. Mike's mom has actually never seen the baby um, at an ultrasound, just like through pictures. My mom's come with us once when the baby was a lot smaller. So this will be tons of fun. So let's go look at the baby. It is technically my last day of my second trimester. Technically my first day of my third trimester so i'm gonna show you my last bump date for this trimester i'm actually on my way to my doctor's appointment my midwife appointment so i don't know if i'm explaining it all to you guys yet but i definitely will in the third trimester video or in its own video so yeah let me show you guys a little bump date i'm wearing a dress that really makes me look pregnant <laughs> i am pretty pregnant though at this point i am 27 weeks today so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and that'll be it for my second trimester. So this is what I look like. The dress is kind of poofy, but there it is. Second trimester is complete. I cannot believe we're at the final stage of this pregnancy. Now that you guys have actually seen the footage of what I was able to take in my second trimester, we're gonna do a second trimester recap and this is actually how I'll do my third trimester too because I'm currently at the end of my third trimester and I know what I, I should say, not what I filmed, but the lack of what I filmed through the third trimester. Doing these videos were a little bit harder for me, but let's just go in and let's recap the second trimester. So second trimester is around like 16-ish weeks, maybe 15, I can't really remember all the way to about like the 26th, 27th week. So as you can see, I started this video on my 23rd week and there's a reason why, because my first trimester, I was really sick. So then recapping on the second trimester, I was actually still really sick through my second trimester all the way up until about the 23rd week. So I really did not pick up the camera like at all between then. So that's why there's like a big gap of footage there. So I was still really ill and then I was also kind of like starting to get a little bit bigger. So before when I was in my first trimester, I wasn't like doing too much growing. I was just sick. Whereas then in my second trimester, I started to do a lot more growing and also was still sick till about the 22nd, 23rd week. So that was the start of, so that was the start of my second trimester and moving from my first trimester to my second trimester, let's talk about a little bit like physical stuff. So my skin, was actually like breaking out more. Um, my body, like I said, I was starting to grow a little bit more. My belly was like to the stage of where it didn't fully look like a round belly, but it was definitely starting to grow outward. And, and you guys could probably definitely tell that as I was getting further along the footage that you guys just saw through my second trimester. And depending on the outfit that I wore, I could either look like you couldn't really notice it, but then certain dresses, you would definitely notice that like my bump was rapidly getting bigger through my second trimester. But I will say overall in the second trimester is when I have felt, I don't wanna say the best, but that's me reflecting now in my third trimester. But at the end of my second trimester, I would have definitely said like, second trimester was a win because my first trimester was not fun at all. The second trimester though, I did get a lot of like my energy 
back. So the first trimester, I wasn't that I wasn't like having a lot of energy. I was just sick a lot. So I did not want to get out of bed a lot. And I would basically just go to work and then come home and I'd be sick pretty much throughout the day and would want to get to bed so that I didn't have to feel being like super sick, watch a lot of TV and stuff. But still second trimester, I wanted to no longer be in bed at all, especially when I stopped being sick. I was like, get me out of here. I want to go back out. I want to be with my horses. So I was able to take care of the barn and more of my regular duties <laughs> that I actually like to do in my second trimester. We renovated the kitchen in my second trimester. I was still doing pretty much everything in my second trimester. I actually was able to feel really good in my second trimester because I knew how cruddy I felt in my first trimester. So there was like a big humbling difference there between the first and the second trimester. Second trimester I thought was really kind of good after I got over being sick. At 20 weeks, we did our anatomy scan and that was really cool. Um, I was actually still with my OB practice when we did the 20 week anatomy scan. Everything came out perfectly fine with the baby. All the organs were there and in working condition. There was no extra organs or anything like that or no less of any organs. So my anatomy scan ended up going really well. And then actually shortly after the anatomy scan um, is when I revealed to the world that I was pregnant. So that was really exciting. After that too is when I decided that I was going to be switching out of my OB center and then moving over into a maternity care center with midwives. So you'll hear more about that um, in my third trimester video and in future videos after that, we'll really go into depth about that. But I decided to, like I keep saying, get out of my normal like OB care that I had started with. My doctor was really good and there was nothing against her. She was really nice. I just started to do more research on what I wanted and what kind of path I wanted to go down. So I decided I wanted to have midwives. And in my practice, like the doctor that I was going to, there were midwives that you could see as well um, with more of like, still like the doctor philosophy behind it um, and right to the hospitals and all that. But then I just kept looking and researching and there's a lot of really weird things that were aligning um with the midwife that I actually chose to go with and it worked out that they had like one spot available left in their October birthing so I was like so much of this is aligning and then on a more like I don't know if I could call it practical logical side of it oddly enough at the same time my insurance provider was pulling out of my practice so I was like okay this is interesting like I have insurance and I'm not gonna really technically use it with this practice because my insurance was pulling out of the practice. So um, there was a bunch of different things that were aligning around that, you know, 22, 23 week mark that I was like, okay, there's a lot of signs here that maybe I should look into something different. And I'm really grateful that I did now <laughs> looking back because the experience has been completely different, even just in the first beginning of like those 20 weeks of appointments that I had. Um, at my OB versus the appointments now at my maternity center with my midwife. So it's more homey, it's more open and free. And I just think that's the method that I like. Through the second trimester, I go to the doctor every four weeks. So when I say doctor, I should say my midwives. And the appointments are about an hour long. So the first appointment that I went to was two hours long. And then um, continuing through the second trimester, I would go every four weeks and when I would go there kind of like a play-by-play -play of how it would go is I would basically give them a urine sample and there would just be like these little strips that I would have to stick in there test all of it um, and some things that I would test would be like my leukocytes my proteins um, some other random things that I really didn't focus on but throughout the second trimester everything was fine so those were no issue and then also um, I would take my weight whenever I would go there. So that's how that setup would be. And then we go and we have like basically just this discussion of how I'm feeling. They ask 20 questions about my mental health, um, my baby, the movement of the baby and all that. So it's a lot more casual than the doctor. And before when I was like at my OB practice, I would be there for an hour just waiting. And then my appointments would be like five, 10 minutes where now I see my midwife right when I come in and my appointments are an hour and it's one-on-one -on -one time with the midwives. So it works out really well. I feel like my pregnancies 
actually a little bit closer watch doing it that way. Um, and I learn a lot more doing it this way. So after we have our discussion, they go through it all. Then they do like my whole baby check, measure the baby. We listen to the baby, my blood pressure and everything like normal, like medical side of it. So you do get like the medical side of it and then you get the more personal side of it with midwifery care. Whereas like the doctor's office is just like the medical side and it's like, okay, yep, you're good to go, see ya. So it's been a different experience, um, more of a comfortable experience. So that's been really cool. Also through my second trimester, the ultrasounds have gotten a lot more fun. Um, like I said earlier in the footage um, that the baby started to look more like a baby, like a little human. So second trimester was really fun for that, seeing the baby grow and not look like a little peanut anymore. Like my um, first trimester when all the ultrasounds just kind of looked like that. So overall, the second trimester was definitely a lot better than my first trimester and I was very happy to be in my second trimester and moving right over to my third trimester. But that is like the recap of my second trimester um, all the way leading up to about like 26, 27 weeks. And then moving on into my third trimester. Alrighty, well, I hope you liked this second trimester journey and recap. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any videos like this. And I will see you guys in my third trimester video.